Hello, hello. Today's plan is to go to the top of Bukit Berina. When I'm driving from Ahmed's side, I always see there is some building on the top of the hill. And I always wanted to go a little bit up. So I found some trail which most probably going there and simply going there. So that's the plan. The trail is not really used, it's like pretty abundant, but I love abundant trails. The real jungle sound, simply incredible. Wild chickens. Bukit Verena wasn't that pleasant as I was thinking. So I will go down and we'll try to find another good spot to to show you. Water source. We'll go a little bit up to check out what's going on there. Maybe I was in the wrong side, but yeah, there was only the temple, nothing else. It's always interesting to proceed this small trails you never been before and you never know where it will bring you like now I'm just following a trail like on the other side there are a lot of familiar places but this one I never been before and I think it's endless I mean this amount of the trails amount of the places we never been two years I'm already hiking these trails and yeah the place is huge and the things what you can see around here are absolutely unlimited This is pretty solid trail. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people walking here. Maybe it's because someone been cutting trees here. All right. This is uh, I can walk this trail to the places I know endlessly but I have to keep in mind that my motorbike stay there and if I will go out there so then there are two options uh, coming back this I'm coming back same trail or I have to go a loop around which is gonna take me I don't know around seven kilometers to get back to my motorbike no point I will go back. I was actually asking locals for that waterfall. Um, not really sure. Is it, is it here? No one really gave me exact answer. Just, oh, it's that way and that's it. 
so we'll see if there is no water then I will not look for it there's no point to do it anyways there is a, like a small river bed if there is a water then there is a waterfall as well logical right as you see it's only a little water so most probably no, no waterfall at all it's just like okay yep so uh, on the way here I saw beautiful rice fields I didn't know about so we'll go back and film them with a drone looks like a good idea and anyways up there it's a, um, it's a temple area I'm actually in that area where that seven temples surround the Lampuyang temple and uh, I didn't take my sarong so I cannot get in there anyway so <laughs> This is one of my favorite places, especially I like when the clouds are coming down there. But it's always been a challenge since, I don't know, if you film it with a GoPro and if you're trying to make a time-lapse, which is, 
actually better for all these clouds because if you just look at them it doesn't really matter but when you make a time lapse of it so then it's incredible I've been trying I don't know where is that I've been trying from that summit it's like a kind of distance good distance to make a time lapse um, I've been trying with a drone from there also not really successful then you have to be lucky if there is a clouds then it's good but if there is no if there are no clouds then there is nothing really to see not really sure that I got what I wanted because too strong wind but, but it's yeah that's the thing if you want to get a good shot you need clouds if there they are clouds there is a wind no way yep anyways and the problem is also that i cannot really tilt the gimbal up so it's all like only the tip of the clouds i can see i would i would love to elevate a little bit i have to learn how to do it you see i another 15 I don't know how many 10 degrees which I can tilt up but I have to check how to do it there is that mountain that mountain I was filming on my back Up there, there are the five holy springs. This is the same river which brings the water. When you're crossing uh, the bridge in a Bunotan, that's the water from here, when there is a water. Because usually the people just use it for rice pads and, and washing and for personal needs, and it's never reaching Bunotan. watering rice bed that's how it looks like okay we'll do another flight beautiful rice pads on this side that's the highest Lampoyang temple yeah. 